Okay, what we have here is the new Hot Mod, which is a drop-in for any GCB95 and some other Dunlop WAS. It's non-true bypass. We kept the buffer, so it'll drop in to any. Don't have to worry about having true bypass switching or anything. It's just a drop-in board. It's the first time I've offered a just a board by itself. And I chose the best mods to do to a to the board get the most uh, bang for the buck, as it, as it were. Got the tone tank inductor, my famous tone tank. I socketed the famous 33K, what people call the vocal resistor, that's parallel the inductor. Right here I've got the uh, 59K in there, a nice mid-step. In the kit I'm including a 33K, a 75K, and a 100K. So you've got four, you know, going from the stock 33K all the way up to 100, you've got four kind of kind of cool ranges there. I like the higher values myself, but what it does is gives more of a, more harmonics and more of an intensity. Some people say it makes the sweep more vocal when you raise that 33K. I think the reason in the 60s why they backed back down to 33K was just to keep the wah from sounding too unruly. Some people might remember that the real early Vox prototypes had 100K here, and there may have been some complaints that the Waz were just too lively sounding or too spiky, so they were able to tame that down a little bit by changing that to a 33K. So you got that to, to swap from. In place of the input 68K resistor, we have a 100, 100K trim pot. I have you know approximately 68K marked with that little slash mark right Right there so as a baseline you know start it at the 68k here is the bias resistor that's the other real popular mod where you change the 390 ohm resistor to ground to a 1k trim pot and this one is set up I marked also 390 on here approximately everything's plus or minus five or ten percent and so those are your baseline starting points yeah, but you can make this a lot hotter both of those to make them louder or hotter you you turn them clockwise and uh, you can make it a lot hot, hotter than bypassed uh, if you want to and you'll notice the growl goes up I often recommend people set the bias first because that kind of adds your lows and sets your growl factor and then you set the volume after this is the one that's a little more key to actually altering the frequency and the and the distortion or, or growl factor. So set that one first. The other big mod that I did, instead of socketing the caps, I did a new thing for me, which is uh, kind of a, a multiple stage caps for the frequency. And what I have is almost a .02, which a lot of you might know the Jerry Cantrell and maybe the Zach Wild and some of the other at some points, I think the old Hendrix Dunlop was might have had a .02 in this position. So in, in addition to the .01 microfarad, I'm adding .005, and these are both .002, and you'll notice there are two of them. And when you put all those in parallel, they're additive, so you actually get essentially .0019 microfarad, which is almost .02. That's a real nice deep setting that a lot of modders kind of like. I know Modest Mike is into that, a uh, bunch of other guys. And what you can do with this, the way I've set it up, if it's too deep, you can take off .002 and go a little bit higher. If it's still a little too deep, you can cut another one off. If, it's, if you want to go completely back to the stock uh, .01, you get rid of all these extra ones and then the, the original stock .01 is, is at the core of it right there. That's basically it. Throw it in, try it out, see what you think.